Hi Pisces, it's Elle here to do your oracle reading for this week. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact Excuse me, with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this Pisces. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing Pisces with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's start with the Oracle Sabilas, or the Fortune Telling Sabilas. We've got Faithfulness. All right, that Scholar. Okay. And then we have Journey. And then we have Frivolty. And then lastly, we have Lord. All right. So we have a lot of masculine energy here. Yeah, nothing but um, men on the cards. Excuse the both and there's a lot of um, moving around um, in the background. But some movers in the house. Um, it's like somebody's going, yeah, okay, an another male here. If you're a Pisces woman, you're definitely concerned about some masculine energy. You're trying to figure out if this person is faithful. Um, there could be a question to this person's faithfulness. You could be learning something about yourself or this person's learning about themselves in terms of life in, in general, in terms of their journey. Somebody may be figuring out why they've been so irregular, so hot and cold, so off and on, so fickle in terms of decision making. How they may go back and forth on their decisions. You've been in a long term relationship with someone, they still can't make a decision whether you guys are getting married, having a baby, moving in together, purchasing property. You sometimes feel like you're still at the lover's phase or the dating phase. Somebody is really trying to learn something every single day or do something every single day, learning how to get forgiveness by doing something about faithfulness or you may be saying this in terms of the only way I feel like you, you could get your trust back with me is you showing your faithfulness, your duty every single day. This could be in a long-term relationship. Somebody's mindset is hot and cold, especially if they're the homeowner, they or they have their name is on something, or they or they have the deed of something, or they feel like they're over you. They could even be older than you. It could be a feminine energy who has a lot of masculine energy with inside of her. It could be a, a woman who has a lot of masculine energy. You could be questioning somebody's faithfulness because it takes them so long to get home. Or it takes them, or they've gone for a very long time. And they're kind of irregular with you. Fickle sometimes. Don't touch me, touch me. Leave me alone, don't leave me alone. It's off and on. They feel like they, they know more than you. They're the boss of you. They could be older than you again. This could be your male lover. Some of you, you're on the outside of a connection here. You could be the other person. This person has to journey to you. Have to, they have to travel to you. When you see them, it's irregular. It's not on the regular. It's not routine. This person could have more money than you, could just have a better status in life than you. Um, they know this and they kind of lure that over you. You you wonder when you're going to be rewarded, rewarded for your faithfulness, for your dedication, your devotion. Some of you also in school, you're going to be ready for this journey to be over.
Let's see what else. The, the, what are, what do the cards have to say? Some of you who are on, on the outside of connections here, um, you just want this person to pick you in terms of um, you feel like you put in a lot of time with this person. You put in a lot of energy into this connection, maybe even a lot of passion. You've done what this person wanted you to do. You could be dealing with a young male, someone younger than you, Pisces. If not, um, you could be younger than that than your other person. Somebody here gets a lot of attention because of the materialistic things that they have. They have a youth, very youthful vibe about themselves. Spiritual growth. Um, somebody needs to grow spiritually, and this is that journey, that self awareness. Um, self-discovery journey that somebody needs to go on. Someone needs to question their motives in terms of why they're with someone. Could be dealing with a dark male. If someone who has a darker hue to their skin, they could be Hispanic, Middle Eastern, could have curly hair, could know that they're attractive, sexy, they get a lot of attention again. They could have a sports car or something of that nature. Um, we have a lot of love, a lot of passion, a lot of desire to be with them. Maybe they're very sexy. Young female, young male, young female. Both of you could be lacking in seriousness or committedness, if that's word, in this connection. Um, Both of you may need to grow up. You need to learn about yourself spiritually. You need to grow up. The relationship could have no status here or it could be very new. Once again, somebody's not exactly serious about the connection. There's a lot of fun. There's a lot of sex. There's a lot of passion. There also could be yeah, a new love. Some of you could have a new lease on life, a new love, a new lover, um, a new love for something. I knew this was coming up. Definitely a triangle here. There's more than one person involved, I think, on both sides. The both of you have options because you have not been that serious about each other and about this relationship. We've got two men, one woman. And then we have a couple here. We have a couple here, a couple here. Some of you could be dealing with somebody who they have a, a significant other and so do you. There's a triangle here. There's a choice to be made. There needs to be, or someone needs to make a choice in terms of lovers, in terms of who they want to be with. When somebody comes to you, they're with you, and then they put you down and they go to another person, and then they put them down and they come back to you. It's like they juggle. They like this, though. It's not stressful. It's not taxing for them. They like the options. This could be you, Pisces, also. Someone could be trying to put you in a place of, of maybe trying to make you choose. You could be dealing with an older woman, maybe a younger woman, someone who you're not that serious about. Someone could be of Native American descent here, also. Somebody's really recognizing that there is a spiritual component to life, also. And it's not just about the material, the you know, let's see. Someone's saying, I financially support you, so I'm going to do whatever I want. And we see that in the Lord card. And somebody, like I said, somebody feels like they can lord over you. They, you know, they know more. They're bossy. You live with them. They're the homeowner. Someone's, okay. Um, someone's not getting the opportunity to ask you or you ask them, um, can I come over? Someone is wanting to come over. 
um, again, it's an energy of, I want to travel to you, have, spend time with you, then I want to go back home and be with that other person. Um, very interesting, definitely a triangle situation. What, what else can you tell Pisces? There are no intentions for this connection. Um, so if if somebody already has someone, you're the person on the outside, or you have someone, you have someone on the outside, there are no intentions for the connection. No one intends to do, have, be. There's no intentions. Um, and as I say that, this card comes out, I have a girlfriend or a boyfriend, but I want you to. So there's someone, if you have a question of, is your person dealing with someone else? Yes, they have a person on the outside. Yes, they recognize you, but there's, um, yeah, there's someone else. Someone is saying, I want my family back. I don't know if you left a family dynamic. Um, someone that you used to deal with wants you back. Someone is saying, I'm bad and you're good. Only one of us will win in the end. So someone definitely understands the dynamic here, okay? Um, someone is saying, you have too many kids for me. Sorry. So someone's kids is, is getting in the way. Someone's children is just in the way of the connection. Someone doesn't want to deal with all the different personalities and the responsibility. Someone is saying, if you move on, so will I. Um, let's see. Let's see. Um, someone, I just like hearing myself talk. So we have someone who maybe could be egotistical, narcissistic. They just like hearing themselves talk. And, um, the cards want you to know that you give too much, okay? Um, we do have an energy of somebody uh, sleeping around some days. They find nothing wrong with it. And some days they feel like they need help. So it's, you know, I don't know. There may be an air of promiscu promiscuity here, especially with passion. Um, this could be someone who is impulsive in terms of who they sleep with. Interesting energy. Let me leave you with... Chakra card. What chakra should you be focused on moving forward? Some of you have given too much love, too much energy to someone who is not reciprocating or someone who doesn't have any intentions for you. Okay? The intentions are to have no intentions, to um, have no strings attached. Um, they want you and they want their person. Um, they're not going to put you before their other person. Um, it says, do you communicate your feelings or your thoughts freely, your throat chakra? You need to use your throat chakra. You need to speak your mind. Uh, speaking of which, uh, expand your mind and accept perspective, your crown chakra. How you see it is not always how someone else is perceiving it or taking it in. Accept perspective by way of talking to people, listening, um, and um, engaging in conversation and culture. Also, accept perspective because things are different for different people. Um, having feelings for nothing and no one is a coping method. Method, heal your sacral chakra. Okay, so some of you have time to shut down. Um, you're not letting anyone get close to you. You lack intimacy, maybe in all of your relationships. Intimacy is more than just sexual activity. It is um, intimate conversation. It is vulnerability. It is closeness. Um, and so some of you really need to um, think about how um, you have feelings for nothing and no one. Where is that stemming from? You need to heal your sacred chakra. Let me leave you with one card from the Tarot to, that completely sums up the reading. Since we didn't do the weekly uh, tarot readings, we'll give you one, one tarot card. Okay, there we go. Six of Wands. All right, so some of you won the battle, but not the war. You won the battle by walking away, taking the higher ground, higher road. 
some of you, your people that you left behind, the people that you were in competition for, in competition with, um, who um, talked bad about you, who spread rumors and or lies, gossiped about you, uh, tried to get you off center. Um, you have one here and they see you strutting your stuff, moving on with your life. Some of you, the message is don't forget where you come from. Pride comes before the fall. Humility. Make sure you're practicing it daily, hourly. There is success in your business, maybe even help in business. Uh, make sure that you are showing appreciation. This also talks about a cheating scandal. Pride comes before the fall. Make sure that you've got all your ducks in the row because something could come out. Something scandalous. Surrounded some masculine energy. Some older man who has built an empire for himself. Okay. Um, someone could even try to s slander your name here. Someone is seeking for you to share your attention, your light with them or share the spoils of your rich. I don't know, share, they want you to share. Share, be balanced. Also be balanced in terms of, you know, again, humility is coming up. This is what I have for you. Some, some man you need, you're dealing with, if you're female Pisces, they need to be humble. Could be dealing with a Leo. Um, but they will be humbled. Maybe this cheating scandal will come out and it will humble them. Yep, all of a sudden it will come out. Wow, the fact that they've been given to two parties. They've been given money also to another party. Um, they hold a lot of emotions for this person. It could be you, Pisces. Um, and uh, this person has an emotional connection with one party. Then they have a real connection with the other party. They don't mind juggling here. It could be you, Pisces. It could be the other person. All right, so let's get on out of here. That's that's your reading. Off it resonates for you. If it does, go over to the website. Book your own reading there. Take advantage of the text question where you can text the question to the number below. Pay for your question. Receive the answer to your question on your mobile device. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the Buy Me a Coffee link. If you feel like there's some energies that you need to release, take part in the full moon release ritual happening July 23rd. All links are below if you want to take part in that. If you want to release, relinquish of fear, anxiety. Um, if you want to use the full moon energy to help you walk into newness in terms of release, take advantage of the ritual. Thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care.